Hello and welcome on Work Adventure. Today I'm going to show you the complete processes of uploading your maps. We will explore each step in detail. So let's start by looking at the three different options possible. You can upload your map on the Work Adventure server. It's the most recommended way because it's the easiest to set up. And you can also do it via CI and CD pipeline. You, co you can also upload your map on GitHub pages, which is a good solution because GitHub offers performant hosting. This is a good option if you are a developer and if you don't have any web server. You have the tutorial to upload to GitHub pages just below this video. And finally, you can upload your map on your own web server. You will have to configure course header to allow Work Adventure to load your map where, wherever it's hosted. It's the most complicated option, but you can do it if you need some privacy or freedom. So let's dive into the processes of the first way of uploading maps. Let's say I've done all the changes on my map and it's ready to be uploaded. As you can see, I have already a project which comes from the map starter kit from Work Adventure on my laptop. And if I go on my work adventure admin panel, I have a world test map upload, which is empty for the moment. I can just go in my terminal and run this command npm run upload and press enter. So as you can see, there is a building page and the script is going to ask us some questions. First of all, your map storage URL. You can find it in your admin panel. You can go in the developer menu in API key Zapier. You can select your world and copy the map storage API endpoint. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it in my terminal. For your API key, it's the same, just below an API token. You can copy it and paste it. And finally, the name of the directory, it's where your file are going to be stored. So for the directory, I'm just going to call it test maps. My map is uploading. Upload done successfully. We made it. We uploaded our first map. So now that we saw that the upload is done successfully, we can go to our world and see the new maps have been uploaded. So we can test one. Let's just go into the office. The map is loading and that's it. I have my walker and I can walk on my own map. So now that is uploaded, let me just explain you a bit how the script works. There is the first phase, which is a building phase. It's where your map files are going to be built. The tile set are going to be optimized and reduced and the not and the ones who are not used are going to be removed. It's result uh, faster for loading time and it reduces the size of the map. After this, the script of the, your map are compiled and bundled. This happens if you develop some specific feature using the scripting API. The compilation translates your TypeScript file into JavaScript file, and the bundle merge all the JavaScript files into one single file. So once the build is done, you can have the result in the dist directory. I can show you there if I go, if I do ls, I have a dist directory. I can navigate into it and do ll. And I have all my files in my dist directory. The content of the public directory is also going to be in the dist directory. And finally, this dist directory is sent to the map storage URL 
and uh, the map storage URL is the map storage server is going to unzip it and to store all the files into the directory you've just mentioned running the script. So test maps. So for all the credentials that you've just mentioned running the script, they will be stored in a dot env a dot env for secret file. I can show you if I open my code editor. So I have a dot env file with the upload mode, the map storage URL and the directory and a dot env secret file with my API key, which is not going to be uh, commit and push on GitHub. I'll explain you in a next video. Now, if I rerun npm run upload, if I did some modification on my map, we can see that the upload, the script won't ask me the credential because they, it already have it. That's the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to look at the documentation of Work Adventure if you missed something. You can go in Map Building, Build Your Map with Tiled, Publishing Your Map, and there are the three ways of upload. Upload your map to Work Adventure, and there you can find all the information that I have just explained. So that's it for now. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload on the Work Adventure server with GitHub.